Hey, it's Tim, Pickup Truck Plus SUV Talk. I'm at the SEMA show here in Vegas. I'm now at the Jeep booth with Neil Young, who's gonna talk to me some electricity news. Shocking news, shocking. The CJ Surge is an electro mod that we built specifically to further our discussions and understanding of what the potential applications are for an electrified propulsion system in a crate package. And what we have here is a 400 volt scalable system 200 kilowatt motor bolted directly to an automatic transmission with the two-speed transfer case. And then that's powered by a 50 kilowatt hour battery. Um, 24 battery modules are inside that shell. That's the CJ Surge, SEMA 2022. So uh, we have an orange Jeep behind us, but that's not the news, right? Right, so uh, what we have here is the Jeep CJ Surge. This is our electro mod concept okay. vehicle. All right, so essentially this is a electric propulsion system, scalable 400 volt system. And what we have here is a physical product to use in discussing what the potential future applications are. Right, that, that's the thing with this, right? So this is the future application of it. This is not, it's a total concept. Correct. But we can see what's going on here. So this is, you're gonna take your, well, your older truck like I have and make it yeah. into an EV. Now we have the, I mean, it's it's pretty simple EVs, right? We have big battery, yep. and we have through the powertrain. But the thing that I don't think people understand with batteries, you can see it here on display, is obviously you have orange cables. Yeah. You know that orange cables get you two miles more range. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so we have orange cables, and then we have uh, cooling on the other side too. That's yeah. something people don't uh, understand, yeah, is that cool. batteries have cooling. Yeah, the, the lithium ion product, the technology, um, the cooling is very important. Um, essentially, the, the battery wants to be at certain temperatures for optimal performance. Again, it can perform over a wide range, but by keeping its optimal performance, you get the most regeneration, so current in, high current in, and you get the most output, high current output for power. So the, the cooling system is critical for trying to optimize it. Right, and, and you, you don't have to mount your battery like this. This is a good display so you can right. actually see how big the battery is. But right. yeah, I mean, the, these batteries aren't small. They're not uh, lightweight either. And right. so when you're looking this up, like for example, I have a 62 C10 that I, Okay, settle down. I'm not going electric. You know, I'm putting new engine in it. Settle <laughs> down. But if I were to do that, I'd have battery, yep. wiring. Battery, wiring. And then I have the radiator lines. And then how does yep. that connect? Charge port. Oh, so the, it just, it actually, the coolant system is similar to an ICE engine. Okay. But you end up having multiple loops. So there's multiple objects that are in the propulsion system that require the cooling. So the electric motor, for as an example, requires the cooling. The power electronics that drive the electric motor require cooling. Okay. But their their optimal range may be a little different than where the battery's at. So what you end up doing is having like a, a common system, yeah, yeah, um, so. common cooling module. Okay. But you'll have different loops. So you'll cut one loop off when it reaches its temperature. As an example, even this is cooled. Um, it's basically like your DC to DC conversion okay. or your, your charger all built in. So all of that um, requires some level of cooling and uh, there's different ranges. So it's, uh, but it's very similar to an ice, surprisingly. Okay, so yeah, I mean, we have a radiator. Yeah. You know, yeah. And then we have the connection. So the idea here is, is you're gonna get the full crate kit and you get all these parts together and you put it all together. So we have battery, we have charging port, we have cooling, we have the power lines, we yeah. have a DC, DC converter. converter. Yeah. And then what, what's the what's the big, is that a generator unit or what's so going it's, on? Uh, you have a, a combination of electric motor, which serves as your generator on yep, generator yep. braking. So your electric motor and the power electronics. Okay. That's a combined unit. And so uh, does the engine bay cleaning kit come with this kit? Yeah, engine bay what? The cleaning kit. I mean, look how sparkly clean this oh, is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, keep your engine bay that clean too. Yeah, so for, for a Jeep, this is a uh, yeah a rare rare view of uh, right right so, dirt. But yeah. with this package, look at how much room this is. I know. Look I at mean, all you actually could clean it out that nice after being on the trail. Yeah, you know, and then you'd have you could put a little storage in there for like a frunk if you want a frunk. <gasps> Dangerous word these days, frunks. Um, but anyway, so we got the connection piece there. Connection piece there. It's a concept vehicle. So a few, few things. Uh, not going to announce pricing. We don't know that yet, right? Nope, we, do and we don't know range yet because every vehicle is a little bit different, right? So, right. so like, yeah. I mean, you put lots of rubber on your EV, and guess what? 
you don't go very far. Said yeah, so for physics thing again. Yeah. yeah. And, and again, the, this application from a range perspective, I mean, this is like your your third vehicle, right? Your right. recreational vehicle. You probably you know you tow it behind an RV or whatever to Moab. And so in that application, the the standard EPA cycles like SCO3, you know, LA City, they don't really directly apply to the customer of this vehicle. But if you think about it from like being at Moab, um, some of the more difficult trails, they're, they're very low speed, uh, they're challenging, you know, you need the torque, but at the end of the day, you can do a couple days of trails out there with that battery without having to charge it at all. All right, and then speaking of charging, I see you have your little stand here before by you set up, but yeah. is this 220? As far as okay, yep. two twenty capable, okay. Yeah, level two, yep. level two, yep. level two, okay. Wow, it, it, it's it's a cool idea. The only thing I tell you is, if you do have to do resto mod, you want to do more of the stuff, uh, rubber bushings. Make sure it's. I've been in a few vehicles. It's very loud going electric. People don't understand that. Yeah. But if you do rubber bushings, you can make it look really quiet and run really cool. Very cool. What did we miss? Anything All in? Right. Um, no, that's that's the key components from a functional perspective. Everything else is, you know, this off-road stuff and, you know, paint schemes and stuff. It's, it looks good. Yeah, it does look it really good. looks good. The guy handed to our design off his <laughs> team. They do an awesome job. It is very cool. All right, there you go. Free comments down below. What do you guys think? Also, check out the videos over here. Website down below as well. PickupTruckTalk.com. As always, thanks for watching. We will see you down the road.